Our learning intention for this video is that we will understand pH and pOH and what they're representing. We can use pH to tell us how acidic or how alkaline a substance is. If you've missed my previous video on revising acids and bases and the pH scale from stage five science, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner of this video for you. The pH of a solution is actually a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions that are in the solution. A solution that has a high number of hydrogen ions, we say is very acidic and it will have a very low pH value. So a pH value that is less than seven is said to be acidic. We can refer to pH as being the power of H, so power of hydrogen, or the potential of hydrogen. A solution with a high number of hydroxide ions, so that's our OH minus ions, is said to be basic and has a very high pH value, so something that is over seven where seven is neutral. We can calculate pH as it is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution. The pH scale is logarithmic and as a result, each whole pH value below seven is 10 times more acidic than the next higher value. So for example, a pH of four is 10 times more acidic than a pH of five and a pH of four is 100 times, so 10 times 10, more acidic than the pH of six. And that is what we mean by logarithmic. Let me show you a couple of examples. We know that in pure water, the pH equals seven. But why does it equal seven? So in pure water, the concentration of the hydronium ion or the H plus ions are equal to that of the hydroxide ions. And that concentration of each of those are equal to 10 to the power of negative seven. Now, if we substitute that into our logarithmic equation, so the, the minus log to the base 10 of whatever the hyd hydrogen ion concentration is, is gonna give us the pH. So if we sub this value in, then we get that the minus log equals seven. Now, if we do the same thing for the concentration of the hydroxide ions, we get the same value because we're subbing in the same concentration because the concentrations are the same. Now this also makes sense because we know that the pH plus the pOH is going to equal 14.